Hi there, it's Natalie from Custom Crafts and I have a project for you today that is a lampshade. Um, we have been kind of searching for ways to use our Cricut for different home decor things and we finally found a project we think that you will really like. Um, we just went to our local craft store and found one of these lampshades that's actually, it's adhesive. Um, there's a paper liner that is on top of it when you buy it and um, there's a, it's adhesive covered. It's actually for fabric, but we'll be using the Cricut today to make a paper lampshade. So you'll need one of those. This is a large size, and if you're using this size lampshade, we're going to show you actually you need to um, cut out in three different sections the covering for this. Now we've also done an example that's a little bit more advanced. We have the cut file available on our website. And it might be a little bit difficult to see without a lamp underneath it with the light, but it's super cute. And um, this is the Ben's room. Um, you could certainly do your child's name, not everybody's name, Ben. <laughs> so we use the Plant and School book, I think, um, for this. And I think also um, Walk in My Garden was another cartridge that we use. So we've got the little turtle here, and we've got the snail, um, and we just cut out some little um, grass pieces and put them around the bottom of the lampshade. So super, super cute, um, a little bit more advanced. So if you're looking for a simpler project, this is the project for you. And um, I will be showing you how to do that today. So our first step to do our lampshade project is that we want to um, have a 12 by 24 Cricut mat and a 12 by 24 piece of paper. So we have used a piece of paper from the Provocraft paper pad, um, the pastels pad, and um, I've got it all laid out here on my sheet, and then I've taken the liner that came off of my lampshade and I folded it into thirds. We actually originally started using a mathematical formula, which I am not in charge of, um, but we kind of figured out what this distance should be. And so after all of that, we kind of just figured that if you folded this into thirds, you'd get the, the right um, shape and the right coverage for your lampshade. Um, this is the larger lampshade. Um, and the sizes are right here, five by 14 by 11. So if you're using a lampshade that's a little bit smaller than that, you might be able to just lay out this entire liner on your 12 by 24 mat and cut it all in one cut. But we can't do that with the size. So um, the other thing that you should note is that when you are tracing this onto your Cricut paper, um, your mat loads in this way with the arrow over here. You want to um, trace your lampshade so it's upside down because when the Cricut cuts, it starts cutting at this corner and your images uh, are right side up. The top of your images are usually up here. So in order for them to be right side up on your lampshade, you have to trace this on your mat this way. So I've just folded it into thirds and this is basically just to give myself a guideline when I am um, cutting out my butterflies on my um, Cricut. So um, I'm just going to lay this out and then just with a pencil, just trace around and these will be my, you know, I'll cut this out um, in our next step by hand but in order to cut my butterflies, I need to know exactly where they can go. Now you're also going to have a little bit of overlap um, because obviously you don't wanna see these big seams on your lampshade. So we have allowed for that. Okay, so that gives me a good idea of where my butterfly should be laid out. So I'm gonna set my liner aside. And then on to our Tinkerbell cartridge. Now, this is a really cute cartridge. Um, if you, you probably think, well, I'm not a big Disney fan, but you can use this for um, other things. So we'll, we've used actually the butterfly on this cartridge. And as you can see on the back here, there are a lot of really cute flowers if you wanna go a flower route. Um, the butterfly that we'll be using is on page 52, and it's this butterfly right here. 
So um, on our original version, we found that about the, the biggest you could get was about a four inch butterfly. So you want to also, um, if you're not using Design Studio, you want to continue to use your flip button so the butterflies go um, this way and that way and they're, and they're a little bit different and then the sizing will help also. So let's go ahead and load our mat. And I've already um, adjusted my settings for a 12 by 24 mat, but if you don't know how to do that, let's go through that. So I'm gonna hit my settings button, and then I'm gonna hit okay, until I get to, and I've got my multi-cut on, until I get to my mat size, default mat size. So I'm gonna switch that to 12 by 24, and then hit settings. So I've loaded my paper in and I'm going to actually scroll down, use my down key, until I get to where I am on where I've traced my lampshade. And then I'm going to be using, doing my butterfly, cutting out my butterfly. So I'm gonna look at my little book here and actually I think it's right on your keypad, and it is. So the larger butterfly, which is, um, we'll also be using the butterfly on page 51, and this is our four inch butterfly. But for right now, we're gonna be using the but one of the butterflies on page 52. So um, it's right here in the middle of your keypad. It's the one, two, three, four, fifth column over and the third row down. And we just are going to be hitting butterfly. And then I'm going to make this butterfly um, two and a half inches tall. So I'm just gonna press cut. 